everyone. It's Gwen from Everything Gwenny. I hope all you dynamite diamond painters out there are having a good day because hopefully I will be having a very good day today too if I open this and it is as good as I am hoping it is. <laughs> now the last time I got my hopes up that high they were crushed by big giant bubbles in a canvas. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. This I'm hoping wait before I open this let me just say this is a gift darling husband if you are watching my videos because you say sometimes you do to support me please turn this video off right now this is for you and you will not look I mean it I will know okay so hopefully he's gone now this is a present for my husband I was originally going to do it for him for Christmas, but I found something even better for him for Christmas, which I'm waiting to come in. Um, so this will probably be for his birthday in May. And I'm very excited. I I'm almost as excited as it for myself too, because I'm also a fan of what's in here. Um, so yes, this is from the Real Shining official store on AliExpress. It is a 100 by 55 Doctor Who <laughs> poster of all the doctors, all the doctors, uh, all the doctors up to up to Peter Capaldi. Uh, no, no Jodie Whittaker in this one yet. We'll have to find a way to add her in later. Um, I ordered this on July 13th and they shipped it two days later on the 15th and it got to me on July 30th, which was 15 days. It seems to be packaged very well. It's in a box. Um, and it doesn't seem to be squished anywhere. Um, obviously we'll cut it open. It's taped up very well as well. There's a couple of little holes in it, um, which allow for my scissors to get in very nicely. So let me just split it down and open it up. All right, it's a very lovely purple box. I think I've seen these boxes before. Who else has these boxes? Does DIY Moon have boxes like this? I think they do. Diamond painting cross stitch rhinestone art. So again, it's not damaged. There's a little bit of creasing in it, but that's it. Rogue, come here. Uh, and the top's not popped open, which is nice, but it's not taped closed either. Okay, so right off the bat, I have something sticking out here. So it is the tool. Well, double toolkit with uh, a very small amount of baggies in each one. Some wax and some pens and some tweezers. Nothing exciting. And, whoa, the beads. Oh boy, the beads, the beads. Sorry, I got excited. Wow, look at, look at these beads. Um, sorry, it's a little loud. I'm trying to figure out how to get the poor Gwen always trying to figure out how to open a package. Can't open it quietly apparently. Alright. So there's the beads. There are a ton of beads. All different colors. Giving them a smell test. There's a slight smell to them but nothing horrible. And this Ladies and gentlemen, Deep Here's Anonymous of the world is the picture. As you can see, every doctor, up to Peter Capaldi there in the middle, is included in this poster. 100 long by 55. This is going to be huge. There are a lot of colors. <laughs> Let's just see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So my last one, did it have 49 or 42? So it's very similar with the amount of colors as the last one I did. I'm very happy to see all the doctors though, including my favorite, Christopher Uckleston, even though he only did the one season. Um, my husband's favorite is in here, Tom Baker, although sadly I don't see him wearing the scarf. 
even the movie doctor and the war doctor. They're all there. They have all got their own little piece of the pie. So, let's uh, tuck this back away. And put it up to the top because I'm going to need as much room as I can get here. <laughs> so let me just clean up the table as per usual. And, and it's not even going to all fit. There's no way. Okay. Box is empty. Canvas. This is the short side, which is taking up the whole amount of space. This is the 55. They are DMC codes. Let me just, I'm going to just take a peek at the corner. The symbols look pretty clear, not nearly as blurry as in that last one. Wait, oh my god. Guys, there's another pack of beads. Okay, definitely I must have, even if I don't have more colors, I definitely have more number of beads. This inventory is going to be painful. Okay, <laughs> I think that's it now. There's no more beads inside. All right, let's start to lay this out. It looks very nice. It's not, oh, it's not creased at all. It's a very heavy canvas, like very heavy. I'm, I really like it. Um, this is not going to fit on my table at all. I mean, like, all the way one way, all the way the other way. This is now the biggest painting I have. I also think it's the biggest one I've even ordered yet, so. I think, uh, oh, I think we're good. Okay, let's uh, start by peeling. Oh my god, I don't even know where to peel. Okay, let's start at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so awkward. Let's start up here at this corner. Can you see? Ugh. All right. They do have it split down the middle at least, so that's nice. I don't have like one giant piece of of cover to worry about. I do. I, I, I am going to be getting myself a nice uh, exacto blade after seeing Donnie from Diamond Painting with Donnie use it to cut hers into smaller sections, which I think is going to be very helpful. Oh, look it! Look at it! Okay, other than this one like very random, you probably can't see, but there's one very random like red bead in the middle of this guy's forehead, um, <laughs> which is strange. But can you see? Oh my gosh, look at the faces. You can see that really well, can't you, from that angle? Wow, there's the war doctor. I don't know them all. My husband knows the older ones. My husband is 11 years older than me, so he knows a little bit more of the older things than I do. Um, let's just keep going along. Oh, and there is, uh, oh my gosh. How did I forget? David Tennant? I believe that's David Tennant right there. And then Capaldi. Oh, oh. So then this must be Matt Smith. Yep, there's Matt Smith. Very nice. And Christopher Eccleston, my favorite. My my son used to call him Dr. Derpy. Um, so yeah, let me start putting this back on because I don't want to pull it all the way off. That would be bad. So good news is the canvas. The canvas looks fantastic. Like, no creasing, no bubbles, it looks very clear. I, this is gonna be, like, I can see every symbol. Now I say that now, but then last time I started working on it, some started to look a little similar. So like, we have the S and R side by side, and even though they don't look super similar, the backgrounds are the same, the colors are the same, and of course they're in the same area. So that sometimes gets a little confusing. The eights and nines and fives are all in the same color in the same area. So it might get a little bit confusing, but like I said, I'll update that um, when I do my post review, which for this one will probably be not for a very long time because again, I'm putting this off for until a birthday present and it's the birthdays in May. So I've got time and I have to work on this. I can't work on this in the office my new office area because that's where my husband is too and I do not want him to see this. <laughs> so I'll have to work on my old, in my old office, which I don't really have a setup for, but I guess I could uh, either get a second easel desk or I could just move it back and forth. So there's Christopher Eccleston again, so we're back there. This is Dr. Baker, I believe. 
uh, Tom Baker, not Dr. Baker, Doctor Who Tom Baker. Um, don't remember, don't remember, and then that's the first Doctor, the old Doctor, that's now often played by the guy from Harry Potter, Filch, in recent versions when they want the first Doctor in the episodes, which is kind of cool. Like, if you've seen Capaldi's, uh, uh, what do you call it, regeneration video? Alright, now let's look at the bottom. So really, I'm happy with just the top. Like, it's all their faces. Like, what's their bottom? Just their suits? All right, let's, uh, let's give it a little rub. Can you even see? Give it a little rub, rub, rub. Just to make sure. It does tend to want to peel up a little bit at the edges, I find sometimes. The adhesive on all canvases. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look, it's just gorgeous. Like... It's huge. Oh my gosh. Like, look, this is all, this is all one color. This is where I might get to use my, my multi-placers finally. Um, I'm going to try the triple one and see how that goes first. But yeah, so this is basically just the bottoms. This is going to be all where the boring work is. So I'll probably start on the faces first because that'll be exciting. Although then I might get sad and not want to do the bottom and just keep putting it off. There is a little bit of a space in the middle here. Now I don't know if that's just me from the way I've pulled it up and laid it back down. Could be. But I don't think so. All right, left side. Left side. All right, let's take a look. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, I'm so happy that this turned out one of my really good ones finally turned out. I am still waiting for my custom from Huacan to show up. I ordered that as like one of my first projects and it still hasn't got here. And I've gotten all these other projects. And it's supposed to be a Christmas present so I'm hoping it gets here soon and that there's not any issues with it. So yeah, again, you can just see it's all just the bottom. There is something going on here. Uh, I don't know, it's just like a little bubbly, gooey, pudgy mess right here. Um, I can probably just poke that down with a needle or something. It's just in the background color there, so. Yeah, there's another little thing there. But nothing, nothing horrible. Yeah, really nice. So far, so good. The canvas is gorgeous. The canvas is perfect. Um, yeah, real shining. Official store. Great. Great. Did I say great? Um, <laughs> I'm a little... Great. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, I have no idea where I'm going to store this. I'm going to have to go store this in my closet. Um, actually, I'm going to go hang this up in my closet right now because there's just really no room. And I will be uh, right back to look at the beads. Okay, I'm back from hanging it up and actually I went to hang it up and noticed that it's too long to even fit in my closet so um, for this second I don't actually know where I'm going to put it <laughs> so uh, it's just kind of lying on my desk flat on top of the Peter Pan one that I was trying to flatten so we'll see how it goes so I'm just going to quickly do the inventory um, I will fast forward through it um, I'll only stop the fast forwarding part if there's something important to say. Um, I've got my big giant Ziploc bag ready and it's already labeled Doctor Who All because that's the only thing I could think of because there's a couple other Doctor Who ones that I've looked at that I'm probably going to get at some point. There's one that just has like the four newest Doctors. Um, I, think, I think it was before Capaldi though too so I think it's like Eccleston, Smith, Tennant and the War Doctor. Um, just the four of them and each one has their own panel so you can do them separately and then kind of move them around uh, on your wall if you want um, that's really good I've been looking for uh, so if you know Doctor Who at all there's this episode with Rose and the doctor um, and they get separated basically and they're like on ones on each side of a different wall and kind of like facing each other but they're separated. I don't know how else to explain it. If, if you watch Doctor Who, you probably know the episode I'm talking about. Anyways, 
I think I might have to order this as a custom because I haven't seen it yet, but I have to find the right picture. But I basically want to get two panels and do one with the doctor and one with the rose against the wall. And then I can like move them around on my wall, like closer together, further apart, <laughs> offset them. You know, just mess with them a bit. It's horrible, I know, but she's my, one of my favorite companions. So I really liked those two together. Okay, so I'm going to start the inventory. And like I said, I'm just going to fast forward through it unless there's any issues and I'll stop it and uh, come back to you at the end. Okay, seven, 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 one, two, three, four. So someone's already ticked these off. So hopefully that's a good sign. Okay, so far so good. The first bag is perfect. There's, uh, they're all there. I'm just gonna put them inside the Ziploc bag and then carry on with the second package. Well, this makes me uh, <laughs> a little nervous. I think this is, I don't even know what this is. I think it might be 939. Oh, it looks like it's backwards, but maybe it's because they put it on before they rolled it up. Let's see. So this is just a big giant bag of beads. So I'm not gonna be able to tell how many are in here, which makes me a little nervous, but hopefully that just means they gave me a lot extra. Yeah, it's like the sticker. Yeah, so I thought it was on backwards, but it's not. It's just, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of looks like P, P3P. So I'm assuming that's 939 because it says I should have 90 bags. Nine zero bags. <laughs> Nine zero. Can I keep saying that? Nine zero. And it's just like a bag wrapped in a bag wrapped in a bag. So that's it. There's like 939, which is like, I guess the blue black. There is a poop ton, my new word, of 939s. The good thing is they look good. They don't look oily. They don't look clumpy, but there is a lot. So yeah, mm. luckily every, pro I think every project I've done so far has had 939s. The Spider-Man one I'm doing right now has a lot of 939s as well. So hopefully if there is an issue, I have, um, I will have extra. If not, uh, you know what, I think it's almost better at this point just to order them <laughs> than, than to deal with the seller, especially if it's like one color. I mean, I'll still email them, but. Okay, so I'm just gonna put beside 939, I'm just gonna circle it and go, okay, question mark, because sure. All right, back to the rest. Okay, that's it. So everything's accounted for, I think. So let's double check. Yep, looks like 
looks like everything is accounted for. I'm very happy with that. So I was very happy with the canvas and I'm very happy with the beads. Nothing's missing. Everything's good. No creases, no bubbles. Super excited. So real shining official store, two thumbs up. Uh, I would definitely recommend them for a uh, uh, bleh, I would definitely re recommend them uh, on AliExpress. I will be ordering from them again. I actually think I have one or two items from their store in my wish list, but I didn't want to order anything again until I knew for sure um, what their quality was like. But yeah, this is this is perfect. You can see they checked it off themselves. I checked it off myself. It matches. There's no inspector stamp because I, I'm beginning to think the inspector stamp doesn't really mean anything. I don't know. But yeah, I, I like to see the tick marks. So everything's here, it's perfect. I really, really wanna get started on this one, but I'm gonna have to wait. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very happy and uh, definitely recommend them. So uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me the thumbs up as well as The Real Shining. I will have the links below for the store and this particular project that I ordered um, down below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to follow me on Facebook or Instagram at Everything Gwenny. Uh, and leave comments below. I love comments and I look forward to answering them. And I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.